And I should say the stem cell therapies are very controversial because the academic community and the clinics that are doing these in various places, they haven't joined forces. I'm, I'm all for communication. I'm not uh, like for or against. I'm all for more research and let people talk. Have don't, you ever talked to Dr. Neil Reardon? I don't know. He, Re- he, Neil Dr. Neil Reardon is uh, a guy who uh, he's written many books on stem cells, he's got peer reviewed papers on it, and he runs a clinic out of Panama. And, uh, you know, we're doing the, the bioaccelerator guys. And oh, yeah. They, and Danny and those guys th- were there. He has uh, a similar setup down in Panama. And I actually sent my mom down there because my mom had a really badly injured knee and they were trying to get her to have a knee replacement. I sent her down there and nothing for six months. Like she was like, well, it still hurts. It still hurts. Six months later, all of a sudden the pain went away. Amazing. And then eight months later, she's like, I can walk with no pain. This is crazy. And, it, you know, Mel Gibson sent his dad down there when his dad was 92. When he was 100, he was getting boners, which Mel wanted to tell us about for whatever reason. Melanotan. <clears throat> maybe. Maybe. Uh, but Mel also had him. I had uh, some stem cells in, in Santa Monica shot into my shoulder or maybe, no, this was Vegas. Um, and this was uh, Dr. Roddy McGee did some stuff in Vegas. And then we did an MRI eight months later, I believe it was. And I had a full length tear in my rotator cuff. It was gone. Amazing. The tear just healed up. Yeah. I mean, the, which I is mean, wild. That kind of experience will shift somebody's view of these things for sure. For mine, because they were telling me that I had to get surgery. I went to a doctor, and the doctor was doing all these tests on it. And he was like, "Lift here, press against this, press." And he goes, "Well, he goes like, you got a lot of stability there because it's pretty strong. You got a lot of muscle around it." He goes, "But you're gonna have to have surgery. Like you're just putting off the inevitable." I'm like, "Huh? Okay." And so. I went to a different doctor, this guy, um, well, Dr. Davidson out of uh, the UFC sent me to this guy, Dr. Roddy McGee, and he shot me full of stems. And Roddy's been on the podcast before as well. He's very careful. He's a funny podcast guest. Very careful because, you know, I like to get silly and say a lot of wild shit. And he's very careful he's to keep MD. me on track. Yeah, uh-huh. he's, he's legit. And we did this MRI, like whatever it was, I believe it was eight months later. And he was like, this is absolutely insane like I've never seen this before I've never seen a rotator cuff tear full-length rotator cuff tear go away well surgeons and like I have to cut no problem now mm. like I That's do awesome. everything I mean I'm, I'm doing kettlebell swings and presses with 70 pounds in each hand and I have no problem like I'm, and I'm not in pain it's I have full function it's uh, I sleep on it doesn't bother me it's crazy and I also got a, a series of injections while I was in Texas uh, from this company, Ways to Well. And uh, just, it's remarkable. Stem cells are remarkable. And I just think there was such a scare in this country because people thought they were coming from fetuses and they were encouraged. It was, it was all this. Yeah, there was the embryonic thing. During the Bush administration, yeah. there was all this like fear of it. But they're using umbilical cords yeah. from when it was so when a young woman. Um, gives birth, she can sell her umbilical cord and they take that umbilical cord and they convert it into stem cells and has radical healing properties when it's utilized correctly. But in Panama, they can get away with a lot of shit and they can't, and the same thing in Colombia. There's a reason why Danny right. and, and Rampage are going down to Colombia is because they can do a lot of things there. They can give you fucking trillions of cells. They can, rah! right. Well, there, there have been, I, uh, in fair, I agree. Um, with everything you're saying there, in fairness, there was a case in Florida of an eye clinic treating macular degeneration oh, yeah, with stem cells, injected these people to try and save their vision. They yes. were going, they were early stage and they all went blind. Yeah, that was the FDA scary. shut them down. So I do think when you t- when you talk about the brain and the eyes, which as we talked about last time I was on here, are two pieces of brain hanging out outside the cranial you know, vault. There you have to be very, very careful. A brain or an eye is not a knee. And from what, from what I understand, that was a very unethical application. Oh, this like this was clinic was making claims about curing blindness, Alzheimer's, all this stuff. They're shut down now. Yeah. But so also when that happens, it sets back the field of stem cell therapies in this country 10 years or yeah. more. So it's a slippery slope. And I think this right. is why I think people need to approach this with caution. 